Hey guys, this is Edge with NNT. This video will guide you through the updated migration mechanism for moving Neo and Gas from Neo Legacy to N3. Before we jump into the migration process itself, there are a few things you should know. First and most importantly, be sure that you want to actually migrate your assets before deciding to do so. It's a one-way move and no exchanges currently support the N3 network. If you want to sell your Neo or Gas in the near future, you'll want to stay on Legacy for the time being. The second thing to keep in mind are the fees. For every migration of less than 10 NEO or 20 gas, a one gas network fee will be charged. And additional network fees will also apply if a transaction has more than 15 unspent inputs in order to compensate for the large transaction size. Insufficient fees being paid can prevent the user from being able to receive tokens on N3. In our example today, we're gonna to be using Neon Wallet, which will just fail your transactions outright if you have too many UTXOs. If you have that problem, you can fix it by just sending yourself the asset to try and consolidate them. Finally, as a warning about the new mechanism itself, the replacement for the Poly Network migration process makes use of a black hole address to which no one owns the private key. For migration, users will move assets to this address on legacy, and they will attach their N3 public address within that transaction in order to notify Neo Foundation to release those assets on N3. It's very important that you don't try and transfer assets to the black hole address directly. Only an officially recognized channel should be used to make sure the transfer is performed correctly and with the right attached fees and data. At the moment, there are only two places to perform migration, either on the official web portal migration.neo.org using NeoLine or O3 wallet, or you can use Neon Wallet's own built-in migration process. That's what we're going to be using for this video. When using Neon Wallet for migration, the first thing to do is make sure you're on at least version 2.8 of the wallet. Earlier versions do not have this functionality. If you need to update manually, you can find a link to the official website in the description where you can download it. Log into a Neo Legacy wallet that contains assets you want to migrate to N3. For this example, I'll be sending some gas. Now we navigate to the migration page and create a new wallet for the N3 network. Neon does not actually allow you to use a different N3 address that you've already created for migration. That's because it derives a new N3 public address from the same private key used for the legacy wallet that you're currently logged into. That means if there are any issues, it's going to be hopefully quite easy for you to make sure that you can recover access to the N3 account after migration. Let's go ahead and create our new wallet. After confirmation, you'll be taken to step two, where you can see the new address has already been added as the recipient. Now we just need to choose the asset and quantity of it to migrate and fire off the transaction. As you can see, in my case, I'm migrating less than 20 gas, so there is a fee to be paid. That means I can't send this full quantity and I need to drop one gas from the total to send, which will allow the transaction to go through. Now we can check the activity tab to see that that transaction has been completed successfully. And then navigate back to the migration page onto step three where we can see the view history and we can watch to see our pending migration go through. Usually this takes about five to 15 minutes in my testing, but apparently this can take as much as 24 hours if there are some issues. If you do have issues, you can contact eg at neo.org in order to get some assistance. And after a refresh, we can see that Neon is telling us our migration was completed successfully. So let's log out of this wallet and log into the N3 one. And there we can see our gas has been successfully migrated to the new network. That's all it takes. Hope this was helpful to you all. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one.